Vanessa was special. Like, a lot of people tell me, like, I don't know what's with Vanessa, but I like her smile just touches me. Vanessa Guillen was the light of her family. She's just a joyful person. She's very outgoing. We just had that connection. One of six children beloved by her siblings and her parents, Rogelio and Gloria, originally from Mexico, raising their children to pursue the American dream. I always looked up to her since, like, little. I was always, like, following her steps. Even from a young age, one thing was clear, Vanessa's sense of duty to her country. Ella, desde los 10 años, soñaba con escribirse al ejército, a defender su país, su nación. As soon as she graduated from high school, Vanessa enlisted in the U.S. Army. In her first training, she didn't even want to come back. She was that happy. Even when she got home, she was, like, a new person, she was, like, her skin was literally glowing. Vanessa was sent to Fort Hood in Killeen, Texas, one of the Army's largest military installations. She worked as a small arms repair soldier, but soon after she arrived, her family said they noticed a change. <laughs> She looks more sad, si se, más triste. She was not happy at Fort Hood, no estaba alegre ella. No, no. Tú estabas bien, ¿por qué estás así? Dice, no mami, estoy bien, estoy bien. She would try to tell me that she didn't want to be at Fort Hood. I remember this one time she said, I don't like it here, and I hope one day you understand. On the 22nd, I find out that she's not replying at all. No phone calls, they go straight to voicemail. So I was like, well, let me message her. Maybe the message just go through, and nothing. There's a 4 p.m. accountability check. Vanessa doesn't check in, and that's unusual. And so the unit starts looking for her. They told me that her keys, her car, her military ID, her license, credit, debit cards were there. She would never leave her stuff behind. After trying to reach Vanessa for hours, her sister Myra takes action, driving three hours from the family's home in Houston to Fort Hood. I thought maybe she had an accident, like we have to look for her. She says she arrives in the middle of the night and calls the staff sergeant. She says he tells her to come back in the morning. On the 23rd, the military police were contacted. Major General Donna Martin is the head of CID, the U.S. Army's Criminal Investigation Division. We wanted to make sure she wasn't hurt. And so when that search came back without any results, then that's when CID is notified. I texted my other sister and I was like, what's going on? She was like, we think when this is going, it's missing. And I was like, how can she go missing on a military base? That's too ridiculous. Go find her and better find her. The meetings with CID were useless. There was no new information. We gave them literally every single thing that they asked for, and for them not to give us an answer was like, the problem is inside. As a mother myself, there's nothing, there's not enough you could tell me. I would want to know everything, and we can't tell everything. We have to maintain the integrity of the investigation. Gloria recalls a conversation she had with her daughter months before she went missing. A mí me está acosando sexualmente un sargento. Le dije, no, mija, es que eso no puede ser, mija. ¿Cómo a ese grado? Dijo, sí, mami, y se le salen sus lagrimitas así. Dame el nombre y yo voy. Yo lo acuso, así miserable. Yo lo acuso. No, mami, te puede hacer daño. Her mother kept the conversation private at the time. 
But Vanessa's sisters became the public face of the family, protesting outside of Fort Hood. We started protesting every Friday. What do we want? Yeah. What do we Inside, the Army begins to piece together Vanessa's last known whereabouts. We know that Vanessa reported to her um, workstation, which was in the motor pool. And then we know that she came to the arms room, where she did leave behind her bank card, her ID card, and the keys to her barracks room and her car. And then she went to the next arms room, the second arms room. And that is where we believe she came into contact with Specialist Robinson. We believe that Specialist Robinson was the last person to have seen her. Specialist Aaron Robinson joined the Army in 2018 and was deployed to Iraq for seven months. When interviewed by investigators, he says on the day Vanessa disappeared, he finished work and then went to his off-post residence to spend the night with his girlfriend. According to investigators, his girlfriend, Cicely Aguilar, backs up his alibi. Investigators speak to witnesses who say that on the day of Vanessa's disappearance, they saw Robinson coming out of his arms room, pulling a large, heavy case. So all of these leads lead us back to, uh, to Specialist Robinson. We're interviewing other people in the unit as well to find out was there a relationship between uh, Vanessa and Specialist Robinson that we didn't know about, and there was not. Soon, Vanessa's disappearance begins to be reported on Spanish language media, where Vanessa's mother, Gloria, spoke publicly about the alleged sexual harassment. Estoy haciendo acosada por un sargento. Pero como cosa sexualmente. Sabe que no, ella, mi hija no me dijo un nombre, ¿verdad? Pero yo le supliqué tanto a la amiga de, de, de mi Vanessa. Y sí, sí, dijo, ¿qué? Okay, hay un nombre, dice. Robinson. Family attorney Natalie Kawam told us today she's uncovered at least two incidents of sexual harassment. The military says they've received no credible information about those allegations. The story starts to go viral. The Army launches an investigation into those sexual harassment allegations, but they're also trying to handle the criticism regarding the handling of the investigation. Vanessa's family keeps up their pressure on the leadership at Fort Hood, demanding answers about the investigation. They finally admitted that foul play was involved. Viva la quiero porque mi hija entró viva. Porque si Dios no lo quiera, mi hija aparece muerta, cierra esta base. The story explodes into the news cycle. The army suspects foul play now. When we come back, Vanessa's family continues their desperate search for their daughter. And we go to the Pentagon to get answers. Mr. Secretary, what in the world is going on at Fort Hood? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.